Earlier this month, Waylon Richardson was hoping to hear his name called in the Major League Draft. After the 37th round, though, he gave up hope and turned his computer off. Not long after, his phone started blowing up as friends and family letting him know he'd been picked in the 40th round by the Philadelphia Phillies. Only a sophomore in college, and many had a decision to make, sign and start a pro career or go back to school. We caught up with the West Noble grad to learn about his decision. Here's the payoff. It's on the corner, and wow. Shaquille is out three. Wow, what a wicked performance on the hill from Waylon Richardson. It was, it was shocking. You know, you grow up here, and a lot of people dream and wish that it could happen, and I actually went out and chased the dream and worked for it and just went after it, and it came, and I... I don't know. It still hasn't really truly hit me, but it was it's crazy. Swing and a miss. Out goes Bozzelli. After leading Kankakee Community College to a JUCO national title as a freshman, Waylon Richardson was on Major League Baseball's map. But after Tommy John surgery in August of 2017, he pitched just three games this past year as a sophomore, making his selection a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I came back eight and a half months out, and which is unrealistic for anyone really because most pros don't come back to about 12 to 14 months out. Now my uh, first game back from Tommy John I'll probably never forget. I faced seven batters. I caged six and walked one. Here at West Noble High School, Waylon was a three-sport star that was more known for putting trophies in the trophy case for basketball and for football as opposed to baseball. But his six-foot-five frame and 94-mile-an-hour fastball were too much to pass up for the Phillies in the 40th round. Yeah, uh, I met Jake Arrieta. He shook my hand and congratulated me. And I mean, that dude, you know he's huge on TV, but he's a lumberjack <laughs> in, in real life. And I mean, the experience out in Philly, the organization, everyone I met out there was truly appreciated. All of that made his decision more difficult. Sign with the Phillies and begin his pro career, or pitch at St. Leo University down in Florida, where he committed for his junior season. Not a lot of people know this, but I've decided to decline the offer from the Phillies and go back to St. Leo for hopefully a year and wish for the best next June. Our head coach out there and our pitching coach, Rick Odette, he's the head and pitching coach. Uh, he has had multiple professional offers, had multiple D1 offers, and I feel like working with him a year after just working with Coach Schaefer down at Kankakee, working with Odette a year will develop me and make me a lot healthier to uh, have high hopes come next June. Now, Waylon was picked number 1,187 by the Phillies, which would certainly make him a long shot. But remember, Kevin Kiermeyer was the 941st pick in his draft, and now he's got two gold gloves and a $54 million contract. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.